Alrighty, so today I'm going to show you how I achieved this awesome cow set using the McCart French Poly Gel Kit. So stay tuned if you want to see how I did it. gang welcome back or welcome to my youtube channel it's me girl daytime so like i said in the intro i'm going to show you how i did this cute cow set so this is the extension well this is the poly gel kit that i use from mccart um and like i've said in previous videos i'm now a mccart influencer so if you would like to get this kit then use my code which will be on the screen or in the bio down below so that you can get money off if you decide to purchase this so when I first saw this kit on the website, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just liked the shades of pink and I just wanted to kind of figure something out as I went along. So the entire four days while this was being shipped, I literally switched what I was doing so many times. Like when I was filming this, I was literally like creating it as I went along, which I didn't think I was going to do. Usually for nail videos, I pick something about a week in advance and then I go ahead and get the kit. Oh, but this, it really just like came together like right before I started filming. So we get six shades that come in this kit. First we have clear. Um, we already know that McCart has like the best clear, so I don't really think clear has any ex explanation. Um, and then we also have bright white, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. Okay, I had to go on to the McCart website and look at the shades because I totally, like, cannot see on the camera. But this third shade here is natural pink and the number is 008, just in case. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> this fourth shade right here is dark pink and the number is 009 it's pretty much the same as natural pink but it's a, li a little bit more pink rather than nude if that makes sense um next is light pink um it's a little bit more opaque than the dark pink but it's like the same color and then the last color we have is misty rose and this is like a sheer version of the natural pink if that makes sense they're kind of like just like different shades within each shade if that makes sense and because this is a kit we get the original our favorite the mccart brush with the spatula on one end and the brush on the other i don't know there's something that's extremely satisfying about opening mccart's brushes i have no clue got our top and base coat and just watch me struggle <laughs> this is so funny it took me forever to get this out the kit um but yeah this is our top and base coat the usual um yeah for some reason i really like mccart's base coat i also started using base coat as a slip which you see in this video a little bit awesome um we also get dual forms i'm really happy because um mccart newly started putting their dual forms in cases you know the real og members of mccart remember when the dual forms used to come in bag a bag not bags a single bag used to be so funny um we have our how-to manual and obviously we have a hand file which is 120 and one two one ugh, i'm trying to read y'all 120 and 240. okay so first of all let me apologize for the quality of this part of the video it just sucks truly and i did not notice until after the fact um but right now you see me scrolling through my phone trying to figure out what i was gonna do so i finally figured it out and i mixed a bunch of pink 
on this palette that I bought with the tiniest bit of orange and I put it on my pinky my middle finger and my index if I'm not mistaken so the pinky I just put it on all the way the middle finger I put it on like half the nail and towards the bottom I kind of cut it at an angle so that I could fill it in with white later and then the index finger I just did regular pink um, and I went in with polish at the end for the design so yeah watch me do this in horrible quality for like the next one minute okay so right now I'm gonna go ahead and put the photos my in, my inspiration photos on the screen just in case you guys wanted to see and I just wanted to give credit to those people that I took inspiration from so their Instagrams will be in the screenshot hopefully if not I'll go search and find it and put it somewhere on the screen but yeah so enjoy these photos Okay, so like I said, my middle, my index, and my pinky got that pink color. And now that I'm using white poly gel, you can kind of see it a little bit better. Um, I put white poly gel completely on the ring finger and my thumb because these nails get the full cow print. It looks so good when it's finished. Um, yeah, so looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Also, while I'm here, let me go ahead and talk about using slip base ba <laughs> using base coat as slip solution. So usually I'll use alcohol 91% or more um, as a slip for my poly gel, but I decided to use base coat and I've been loving it. It's usually like all I've been using and it just works so awesomely. So uh, I've discovered it on Femi Beauty's nail channel. Uh, one of her commenters had requested it to her so she tried it and she recommended it so I tried it and I'm literally in love it's so much easier than alcohol uh, and it just I just feel like it works so much better with the poly gel I don't know it just makes me never want to use alcohol ever again back to the great quality um so for this cow print that I did I mixed black regular nail polish with top coat if I'm not mistaken um it worked really well you just have to cure a lot more than you usually will um but I'm using a wooden skewer cut in half in this little dish here and I'm just mixing because the consistency was very off and the color was off. So I just had to keep mixing and mixing until I got the right color. Then I pulled up my inspiration again and I just started dotting black dots on my nail for the cow. Uh, yeah, you can see that here. Okay, so here I'm starting this really cute but very wonky uh, cow design by V Nailed It, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I just took white regular polish and I mixed it with top coat again. I took the end of my skewer this time because it was a little bit flatter and more round. Um, and I kind of just followed the picture, to be honest. That's literally all. I did um, I cured that and then I went in with the black again and just went over the white and a little bit off just for you know creative purposes I guess um, but yeah
so here on my ring finger this is the all white nail I'm just going in with the same black polish mixture and I'm creating the cow print so I felt really smart when I was doing uh, the set of cow nails because the previous set that I did I was just like blotting circles so I figured out that if you have not if you have you just do a few big blobs and you fill the rest of the nail in with like tiny irregular blobs not circles but very irregular and not the same so that's how you get like the perfect cow and I finally discovered it and I was just so happy when I was filming because I was like oh my god this really looks like a cow So I decided to put some rhinestones on the pink, the, the pinky, which is stiletto shaped. I didn't really get this on camera, I did this off camera for some awkward reason, I wasn't in the frame. Um, but I just put a few crystals on my cuticle and then I cured, it wasn't really anything big. So this is the finished product of the cow set. I really like it. This is my favorite set so far. Uh, and here's the other hand. I don't know. Maybe I just thought you guys should see it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching me do this set. I feel like I've truly accomplished the cow. Um, I'm a little bit obsessed, but this is probably be my last cow set for a little minute. Uh, but that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to become a part of the Liddy Gang. And I'll see you guys next video.